Hey my pretties, welcome back. So today we have yet another Walmart haul. Um, I am super excited to share these items with you guys and I'm gonna give you a little spoiler. We will be making pizza. Yes, we will be making pizza in this video. So before I get started with all of the goodies that I have ordered from walmart.com, let me first say this video is being sponsored by Walmart. Thank you again for working with me, Walmart. I absolutely love them, as we all do. <laughs> and why do we love Walmart? Because they have so many great deals. They have so many great deals, you guys. I cannot even stress. If you have not been on walmart.com to scroll and see all of the deals, I mean, you'll see like comforter sets that may be like $200, and it's like, right at the moment like $45 or $50 or something like that. You guys already know Walmart is the place to go for all of the deals. So um, I know that at the moment, let me get the date, it is the 13th. So a lot of the deals and discounts that they are having uh, will be going on until the 13th. So you, you need to move fast. And when I show you guys my items, I will link them down below. Hopefully you guys will be able to grab or snag. I mean, that's if you like the items that I chose, but I'm super excited to share these with you. So let's go ahead and jump into this haul. So I'm going to start off with the small stuff first. These slippers are so soft, so, oh my goodness. Like just, they are so soft. <laughs> they are by Von May and I love the color. They did come in, I think there's maybe three more colors that you can choose from, but I thought the gray would just be really, really nice. Of course, I was trying to get myself prepared for fall, although I keep telling you guys in California, it's just not fall weather right now. Um, however, that did not stop me from getting some things that I needed so when it cools off, and these are going to be perfect. I love the crisscross detail on them my toes will be out i love these the bottoms look like that so you know they have that ribbed detail going on down there and you guys when i they're just soft they're just super soft so i'm super happy about these again all these items will be linked down below in the description box if you are interested so this is my first item i forgot to mention these are memory foam <laughs> That is very important. I usually like to get my house shoes with the memory foam because it just makes them even more comfortable. This next item is very important to me because although it is extremely hot outside at the moment, I tell you when it cools off and the temperatures drop, oh my goodness, um, it, it's just super cold. I don't like being cold. My daughter doesn't like being cold. We have probably two of these in the house, but I'm like, look, we need another one. So I am speaking of that good old electric blanket. You cannot have <laughs> enough electric blankets, um, especially in my house. So I did choose another one of um, another blanket. The other ones that I have in the past actually came from Walmart as well. Uh, this one is 50 by 60 by Max Care. Um, yeah, and I chose the gray one. It does have the little remote control. It says it has a five hour timer on it, flannel and Sherpa, and it has six heating levels. This is what it looks like right here. So you have the timer, the on off switch, and the plus and the minus sign over here for you to be able to make it hotter or, you know, to cool it off if you get too hot. And this is what it looks like. And this side right here is so super soft and like I said I could be sitting at my computer doing some work it might just be my feet and my legs um, sometimes my whole body just don't get cold it might it, it's usually my feet or my hands uh, so when I was trying to decide what I wanted to share with you guys uh, as far as my haul I was like yes I need another another one and look at that it's nice and big it's super soft and I'm ready to use no I'm not why did I say that? It's a hundred degrees <laughs> outside. I'm not ready to use this, but I'm happy I got it. Next up, I always like to have me, I know they call them, what are they called now? Shackets? 
in my day they were Pendleton's I mean I don't know if they still call them Pendleton's I call it a Pendleton so I chose this one I usually get them a little bigger I love this tan color with the gray and I get them a little bigger because I like mine to actually fit like a jacket I don't really you know wear them like a shirt so I'll always have on another shirt underneath it I'm trying to unbutton it so that's why I went with a 2x on this one and I just love the light colors on that let me put this on okay so as you can see I have it on I have a two I bought it in a 2x and um, that's because like I said I like it to fit a lot larger um, you can button these if you like but for me I always will roll mines up just because I like my arms to be free I don't want it to be all the way down but if you choose to you would have that way or the rolled up way it's really nice and soft it'll be perfect for fall um, like I said I like to go with the light colors because I can pair this with a lot of different things and I just thought this was really really pretty your buttons look like that and yeah so and just so you know, it does have a chest pocket, just the one pocket. And yeah, it's nice and light, not too heavy, but it will definitely keep you warm. So a must have in my house is an air purifier. So I have one in my room. I think everybody, all the rooms pretty much have air purifiers, even in the living room um, area. So the only room that did not have one was Pooh Bear's and I'm noticing that his you know he's starting to have like the little allergies or whatnot so i chose to get another air purifier and it was this one right here and this is by miko it says that uh i think that says ibuki <laughs> ibuki um it comes with an aroma diffuser uh let me see antibacterial filter fast purification fits most rooms whisper quiet that was my main focus it needs to be quiet so adjustable settings and it you know the aromatherapy that you can add the oils in there and you know you'll have a little bit of scent or smell as well as it purifying your air so this is what it looks like outside of the box not too big not too small perfect size to sit in his room the top looks like that I think we all know what an air purifier does and what it is and so that is um, why I chose this to go in my baby's room and the price you guys click the links you'll see the prices on these they uh, Walmart is their deals right now are amazing so that is this item and you guys we have one more thing that I am super excited to share with you guys. So let me tell you why I chose this last thing. And I think you guys already know because I spoiled it in the beginning of the video saying we're going to make a pizza. So I chose this and I think it's pronounced Paisano. <laughs> you guys know I'm always trying to do something with some accents. Um, and so it's a Paisano. I think that's how you say it. And the reason why I chose this is because we love eating pizza and lately when i'm purchasing like pizza it doesn't matter if it's pizza hut Domino's. i just have not been filling the pizzas i have not um i do have a favorite italian restaurant that i go to but it's back down in san diego it's an hour away and i can't be doing that every time i want pizza so i figured why not get this that way on pizza night me and the kids which we already make our own pizzas anyway but we use the oven but i thought this would be so much cooler so much fun and i chose the paisano and this was a great price for this so it's granite stone paisano say it together paisano <laughs> pizza oven it makes crispy crust pizza in less than six minutes and they are not lying um like i said we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that um 12 inch pizza stone makes crispy bottom crust uh it has a viewing window it heats up to 800 degrees top and bottom temperature settings which was very important and i love it um, I've only used it once so far, but I learned something very quickly and I will get to that. 
It has a thermometer display and it's electric. Ooh, that made me want to sing that song. It's electric. Oogie, oogie, oogie. <laughs> you can't, con let me stop. Um, <laughs> uh, so everything on this side pretty much was the same. Um, it says it's not just for pizza. It's great for snacks and desserts. And the, the most important thing that I really like about this thing as this them, them suction cup bottoms, that thing will not move. See, there I go again. <laughs> I was thinking of the girl's hair. It won't move. <laughs> so anyways, the suction cups holds this baby in place. It also comes with two wooden pizza paddles and one pizza scraper, which you guys will see shortly. Um, and yeah, so this piece right here, it has the two um, handles on the side. So you lift that up and you can clean this. That way you don't submerge this and tear it up. You just need to clean that plate, which can come off. And I am, it says cool touch handles. And I am just super excited and happy about this. And I don't, I don't let appliances make me feel like this. I think the last time I was super excited about an appliance, it was my ice maker, <laughs> my countertop ice maker. I think I love this more than that. And then for the price of this, absolutely. So I decided to share with you guys me making a pizza. I don't remember if I was saying, well, if I say it in the video, but the reason why I said I love that there is a top temperature and a bottom temperature, um, it does come, hold on, let me get, let me get the um, stuff that it came with. So it comes with a recipe book right here, which is cool. And then it also comes with the instructions. So it tells you everything you need to do when you first get this and start it up. Um, um, what was I going to say? It tells you when you're making the pizza to go ahead and put put it on the temperature that it tells you to put it on on top and bottom. But what I would do is I believe it was at 800 degrees. Um, so on the dial it says 800 degrees is pizza. So you do that on top and bottom. If I, well when I do my next pizza, I will do 800 on the top and I probably would do the bottom at 600. Because as you'll see in the video, the crust around my pizza uh the the dough it was a little too um charred just a little tiny bit it didn't matter i ate it it was good i'm not complaining but i would you know pay attention to how i would like my pizza to look and change the temperature on the bottom one because the bottom temperature is what cooks the dough from the bottom so that was my only thing with that you got to get you a, 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 a what is it a paisano <laughs> If you love just eating pizza or you got your little ones and you guys, you know, your grandbabies and you want them to make their pizza, it's super fun. Just put all the ingredients on the counter, let them make their pizza. And then it has the window on top so you can watch it. You still got to be careful because the, the paisano is a little hot, but you know, you can look down in the window and see the pizza cooking. It's super fun. So I'm going to stop all the talking and I'm going to insert me making my pizzas. Okay. And I'll be right back.
So you see what I mean? That was super fast. Each one of those pizzas, the second one, the, the pepperoni pizza, my daughter, she came in the kitchen. She was like, I'm making me a pepperoni pizza. So she made the pepperoni pizza. It comes with the wood, um, what are they called? Scrapers, the, you, the two wood pieces that you saw me put the pizza on. It comes with those, it comes with the cutter um, and all of that. I put the, I think I put the, the flour cause the instruction book says to put flour on the paddles so that the dough doesn't stick. However, being that it was a store bought pizza dough, I probably didn't have to do that. That was probably more for if it was fresh. So it didn't make a difference, but yes, I loved it. The kid, it, it, everything came out good. Um, very very happy with my paisano so if you are interested in any of these products again check down below in the description box i'll also link everything in the comment section that way you guys can go check any of this out if you happen to get you a, a paisano <laughs> come back and leave me a comment of what your favorite type of pizza is because you saw mine's i i don't like mushrooms but i do my vegetables on there and everything what is your favorite topping on your pizza Come back and let me know. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helped any of you guys with some, you know, some future purchases, maybe Christmas gifts. That Paisano would be the perfect gift. I might pick up one for one of my sisters uh, or I might order one for one of my sisters or one of my mom or my mom. I don't know, but yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> get your, start getting your gifts now. Um, so hopefully I helped you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys real soon in my next video. Okay, bye you guys.